Norovirus is often called the cruise ship virus because uh, oftentimes we see outbreaks on cruise ships. In fact, I've been on cruises in the past where I got this. You get nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Uh, most of the time when outbreaks with those symptoms happen on cruise ships, it's because of norovirus. That's right. But norovirus outbreaks basically can happen anywhere where there are lots of people. Um, so not only cruise ships, but uh, places like schools, daycares, restaurants, that's a big one, healthcare facilities as well, which by the way is a very common place for these outbreaks. Um, you have to keep in mind, guys, norovirus is super contagious. Uh, again, it causes vomiting, diarrhea. We'll talk more about that. People of all ages can get infected with this and sick with norovirus. One of the big concerns we have with it is dehydration and loss of fluids that can happen as a result. But, but this is the thing. Um, if you ever felt like you had the stomach flu, you guys know we often say like the stomach flu, chances are it was actually probably norovirus. Yeah, it wasn't the flu at all. Norovirus is the most common cause of vomiting and diarrhea and foodborne illness as well. So let's go back to the symptoms, okay? So di diarrhea, um, nausea, vomiting, big symptoms there, but you can also get belly pain, stomach pain, um, fever, uh, headache, body aches, things like this. Uh, symptoms usually start uh, 12 to 48 hours after being exposed to the virus, uh, but most people get better in one to three days. So that's good. It's often short lived. Um, I know you guys are wondering, so how do you get it? Well, remember it's super highly contagious. Uh, so you, it doesn't take many viral particles to make you sick. All you need is having direct contact with an infected person, uh, whether that's like um, drinking or eating water or food that's contaminated, touching surfaces that's got the virus on and putting your hands on your face, your mouth, et cetera, coming across a person with it, et cetera. So the big thing here is what we often say with many viruses, it's hand washing and using proper sanitation processes. Uh, you wanna hand wash after using the bathroom, um, uh, changing diapers, uh, before preparing food, after preparing food, things like that. You wanna wash your hands 20 seconds with soap and water. And by the way, the CDC also says, and I think this is super interesting, um, according to the CDC, norovirus can be found in vomit or feces. Okay. It's super important. Um, even before you start feeling sick and the virus can actually stay in your feces for two weeks or more after you feel better. So it's another reason why hand washing is so important during this time. And the CDC says that hand sanitizers do not work well against norovirus. So you really got to stick with the hand washing in this situation. Soap and water, 20 seconds. You can use hand sanitizers in addition to hand washing, but you don't want to use it in place. Um, now I know you guys are saying, okay, so how do we treat it? Well, it's not antibiotic because antibiotics treat bacteria. They don't treat viruses, right? This is a virus. So you really have to do what we call supportive care. Treat the symptoms, stay hydrated, because again, one of the concerns we have often with young children, babies, et cetera, with this virus is dehydration. That can happen with older people too. Uh, so you wanna consult your doctor, but the biggest thing is treating your symptoms, uh, giving yourself support to get through this, um, staying hydrated, et cetera. But just being aware, washing hands is like so, so, so important here, guys. Make sure you stay safe. By, by the way, hey, pass this video one to others that you think might benefit from it. Um, for those of you on Facebook, uh, please like and follow my page. I do videos like this all the time. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel, click the little bell for updates. Uh, and guys, make sure you stay safe. All right.